Thank you for joining me for another short and simple recipe from my first cookbook. Like I always say, cook at home, because you never know what's in those granola bars that you find on your supermarket shelves. My kids have always liked and preferred my granola bars because they're tasty, they're crunchy, and they're easy to make in large batches. So let's get started. I love this granola bar recipe because to me it is so easy and to make it fresh and good and give it to your kids or whoever, it's great for a hike. So let's get started. First you'll need two cups of oats, one cup of slivered almonds, a half a cup of pumpkin seeds, one cup of shredded coconut, and a half a cup of raw flax seeds. And you just mix them all together, put them in your baking dish, and roast them for about 15 minutes on a baking dish. You can use a spoon, but I like to mix it up with my hands. Now that we have all the ingredients mixed together, let's pull our baking dish over here. Let's pour it on. And then we'll evenly spread it out so that all the parts get nice and toasty. Now that it's all even, let's get this in the oven. You have your oven preheated to 375. Place your pan in there for 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure you stir it at least once so that everything gets golden brown and doesn't burn. I can smell the dry ingredients, so I think I'm gonna check on them and I think they're ready to take out. Yep, they're a nice, nice golden brown. We're gonna take these out, let this cool for a moment. The reason I didn't add the flax seeds right when I pulled the dry ingredients from roasting in the oven is because they will burn. Wait till your dry ingredients all cool down on your baking sheet, add your flax seeds, and then you can gently stir them around and incorporate them in with the other ingredients. For the wet ingredients, you need three tablespoons of butter, a quarter cup of corn syrup, two thirds cup of honey, a quarter cup of brown sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla. First, over medium heat, let's start with the melting the butter. Now that we have the butter melted, let's go ahead and add our corn syrup, honey, the brown sugar, and finally, vanilla. You wanna bring this to a boil over medium high heat so that you're dissolving all the sugars. Probably for about two to three minutes. And I think we're almost there. I've chosen apricots and cranberries as my dried fruit, but you can pretty much add any kind of dried fruit that you'd like. And before I add the syrup, I'm gonna do a rough chop on some of the dried fruit that I'm gonna add. Now that you've got all your dried fruits cut up, your other ingredients are toasted, the syrup is ready to go. Let's make this happen. Gently pour the hot syrup over. Let's add our fruits. This is cranberries. We'll sprinkle some apricots in there. And let's stir this around. This is a great recipe to have your kids help you with too. So this is our baking sheet and I'm gonna take my ingredients that have been all mixed up and just pour it on your baking sheet. So I'm gonna lightly butter my hands, and just kind of spread this around, gently apply pressure so that it's not too crumbly when you take it out of the oven and cut it up. We're gonna reduce our oven temperature to 300. Now we can return it to our 300 degree temperature oven and bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes till it's toasty brown. Now that you've taken your granola bars out of the oven and they've had a chance to cool down, Let's cut them up into bars. And you know what? How big you cut them up is really up to you. Like I said, my kids love this. Putting it over cereal, ice cream, cutting them up into bars, so good. In just 45 minutes, you can have healthy, preservative-free granola bars that you will feel confident in putting in your kids' lunches. Enjoy. And remember to check back soon for some more recipes. And don't forget to pick up your coffee at any online retailer or bookstore. Till next time.